Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you meet me for the first time. And today we are looking at the cheapest monitor from Small HD. I had no choice but to jump in on this one because this will be my first ever Small HD device. Okay, so let's see if I made the right decision. All right, guys, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Today, it's about the small HD device, five inch monitor, and uh, it's brand new, just came out a couple of months ago, and um, I had to try it. When it comes to image, they're definitely one of the best. In terms of their brightness, uh, the monitors are usually questionable. Um, they are very expensive, but if you get up to 2,000 nits, then it's probably going to be some skyrocket price. Um, but this one is unique because it's 2,000 nits. Um, when I found this one, I said, okay, now I have a, an 87S4. Uh, perhaps this will be the perfect fit for that camera. So I got my hands on it and uh, we're going to review that right now. Now, I'd already done the unboxing. I'm going to... Um, take you through those clips. Five inch monitor from small HD. Yeah, all right, let's take this off. We have a screen, screen protector, a manual, and oh, straight up portable. Uh, skip this on the side and of course we have the usual suspect um, wipes we have screws yep and uh, cables yep okay micro to full HDMI we have some Oh, that should be nice. Um, monitor mount. I'll give it a try and see how well it holds. More on this later. Um, oh yeah, this is a firmware update uh, USB. Yeah, I've seen this with um, another company before, which is um, Desview. Yeah, they gave one of these for update which is cool and uh, one more cable let's find out what it is okay now here we have the full it's a full to mm, micro okay i don't know which is i think this is micro that is mini or this is mini that is micro but we don't have full to full hdmi okay let's see what's on the device full HDMI so I guess I'll just bring out my own HDMI okay we have a mounting port there we have another here we have DC um, out we have a headphone and USB for update which will match with this one we have uh, hmm, this is interesting this is Canon LP on one side, let's see. So it can be powered by a Canon MP or alternatively, it can be powered by a Sony MPF. So, which is a better way to go now. I would only use the, I will only use the, um, this one if you are using a dummy battery version, because you don't want to be, you know, this is not enough power so for me it's okay it's not a negative it's a positive it's an addition so if you have a d dummy battery for this i'll use it but other than that this hasn't got much much juice to hold on to i know it's a small um hd a uh, small screen but it's a 2000 nit brightness so this guy will run out fast even for this guy, it'll still run out fast because it's a 2000 nits. 
brightness but um, at least you have the option of, of taking the bigger blocks all right we got screen my hands are already making a mess but uh, so I have to wipe and put it in only the power button at the top which is which is fine um, HDMI in and out DC in and um, we have headphone which if your camera doesn't have this can be a plus let's go and mount it on the camera here we go here's the guy now here we go this is the small HD okay uh, <clears throat> I'm going to power it up so I'm going to actually use this one oh it's coming on automatically now I'm going to try it one more time okay I'm going to shut down and take this off Now I'm going to put it again and now this time I'm going to make sure it's not touching. Ready? So let's go. That's the power button and I'm about to push it in. Here we go. Ah, so that's the plan. It comes on automatically. I'm cool with it, but I think they should have done that as an option. This is like a studio mode, like put the battery on. Ready? Action. Okay. So first of all, when you touch, you see frame, focus, expose, look. Now nothing is assigned where some things are now, but to assign things to those so you can have a one touch uh, uh, experience, you go into the settings and this is configuration, my config. And then there's a side settings over here. So let's go on the configuration, which is where we are now. Uh, for your frame, what do you want? So you pick out what you want, crosshair, aspect guide. So um, on the aspect guide, you want to pick out, you know, what what is your, your frame changes as you adjust. The aspect ratio changes, uh, frame. So here's the frame. See the frame showing going there uh, so you make all your adjustments so that when you come back here and you press your frame this is what will appear you already set that on press it and your frame appears just as you want it okay if you don't need it you take it off that's perfect so i'm going to go into the next which is focus now i already have my focus picking on set to high so you can adjust do you want it green? Do you want it blue or white? Depending on your set. Definitely you don't want to use white against a white background. So red is usually the way to go. And I'll keep this one high. Which is about the highest I've ever seen for focus picking. This is very, very hard to miss. You know, it's very, very, very sharp. And that's a good thing. So I'm going to leave that so that whenever I come out here and I press for my focus, I push it on, it goes, press focus, it appears, I can see, and take it off. So that's good, uh, continue. Now, here's my my one and only exposure, and I have focus picking already. You you have the option of ARRI, ARRI 1, which is um, um, Spectrum or ARRI. So let me go to my, um, sorry, let me go to my expose, expose. We stay on Ari, and when you come on the um, when you come to expose, you see your color system. Let me see. Are we on? So here's your spectrum. If you understand this one, that's fine. But this is the one we we're, we're better off with Ari. Um, yeah, we're used to the Ari um, representation. The last but not the least is the looks, and we have the looks. We go to the now. This is active. You see how much lots are in there. Each each folder have subsections. You know, one. If you open, you see that there are lots of lots in there. Go to page two. Come back. You know that's a lot. So that's good now uh, for your audio 
it's faded out you might want to go into these settings here you see that audio meters it was um it was turned off so this is how it came but you have to go in there and turn on your audio and you so you can see the meters on the screen and um headphone headphone volume you want to do what you have to do keep it you know uh, how you want it and then there's backlight fan speed which is uh nice to have i i turned it up from one to three okay i hear it now i hear at three i can hear it not so loud but it's there so but that's a good feature that you could cool it down so these are just uh, pages on the settings so if i go to two we have a new page we have image flip oh that's good image flip that's good so it's off right now so we can kind of turn it on uh firmware update this is the current version look uh, from usb so I, all right so let's go to page three and then we see support small hd oh they have their number there uh, smallhd.com slash support and the phone number that's good so that's pretty much the setting straight to the point i mean i love uh, it see some people may frown at this because um, some people depend on uh, histogram and you know if it's got false color i'm good because that's all i use anyway and so exposure for me it's covered i'm okay with that in in other words i really will be keeping this monitor I'm happy now. So now I can say I have a small HD device in my collection. Even though I'm not paying those 2,500, 3,000 prices. So the small HD, small HD, five inch, 2,000 nit monitor is ideal in my opinion and perfect for the A7 IV camera. And I'm loving it. So the two things that would have stopped me from you know keeping this monitor uh, uh one if there's no false color and two if the nits brightness is not is anything less than 2000 actually honestly let me be honest if they had done this a thousand file nits i still would have gone for it i will not be i will not be happy but i would have gone for it because my experience with my black magic uh, pocket 6k pro the screen that's 1500 nits it was plenty for me so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share and i'll see you guys in the next one peace